Hii ni Buda Boss Live mandika kinuka tunakausha kama kelo ni Super Sunday mtiangu. Tulikuwa nafari kwa nafanya part 2 ya ile story ya Gehazi leo. Lakini inataka mazee ni pige ditu wa kidogo yote wapanya God willing next Sunday. Kuna story mazee me come up ni mwana watu mwuliza mtandao watu mbili tatu. Kuna watu meneendikia kuliza Buda mazee. Hii story ya wa Kristo na cremation ni vipi. Of course, uh, tumecheki a lot of, uh, or a few prominent people wameza kuteka up hii story ya kukua cremated. Uh, kuna watu mazee wako na wako na sababu kadhaa kuna wadhi wanasema mazejo hii story ya cremation ndio ndio kuenda mazee ni cheap kuna mtu mazee amekambaka ka, ili kama cross post fulani amsee amesema mazee eh, kwa mfano uh, bob colimo uh, sanduku yake ilikuwa kangiri mbao kulingana na yeye alafu cremation 17000 kulingana na yeye jamaa total ya mazishi 34000 alafu akaandika hapo chini waluya na waluo niongeze sauti <laughs> Yo jamana bro chap. Lakini nimekupogiza. Of course, of course hakuna kidogo kama 34,000. Kuna a lot of other expenses na come into play. Nilicheki mazee jo watu walifanya serious tribute ya Bob Collins ili nibamba sana full newspaper mchango story tu ya Bob Collins vitu wame do vitu wame achieve ili kwa inspiring video imechukuliwa nini wageni walikamu wengi hiyo everything mazee iko na cost attachment to it whether mtu anisimamia or not is a cost so definitely is not exactly your figure jamaa ongea about but your point ya comedy ili come ili come through hiyo chokozi niliona nile feel <laughs> but anyway here's your point point ni kuna watu of course wako in the process of kuimagine is this the new way ya ku inter body zama ku dinner the disposal of bodies ya maki daddy is cremation the way to go so of course me na address anyone mwenye na jita believer disciple of jesus christ uh, the rest mtu aneza mwa kuzika mtu mwenye na jisikia men we 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 kutaka kuchoma in fact woki ukeza kupata ka lift unezeka yo mwili yenda geju na yende ama weke kwa balloon yi shoot isi wai rudi pastor ye ni yako men we sinu na dispose yo mwili lakini mwenye na kuongele shole mse na jita disciple wa Jesus Christ. Wewe kama mkristo, what should be your practice? Should you engage in cremation? Very fast nataka mazee jo tuangalie uh, uh, Deuteronomy. Kuna vitu kadhaa nitasema tu si mingi sana. Na pick two simple things as to get understanding in story. So, Deuteronomy 34 uh, verse 5 and 6. Pick two simple. Verse 1 to 4 Moses mazee amepele kwa Mount Nebo juu ameonyesha the promised land venye mazee God alikuwa amepanga kambia hii ile land nilisema napatia Abraham napatia nili promise Isaac nika promise Jacob ndio hii ndio hii ione imeiva lakini wingi Yesu alicha agree wingi sawa lakini wewe umeiona nimekuwa la uione lakini wingi then tunakaa kwa verse 5 inasema and Moses the servant of the Lord died there in Moab as the Lord had said, can you rely? He buried him in Moab, in the valley opposite Beth Peor, but to this day, no one knows where his grave is. Chief, Moses alizi kwa na God. Yani, what are you getting into, into context that probably doesn't make sense? Who you know the same Moses in the God that he appeared to him, Alipia, Alipia in form of a burning bush, and he kwa na kwa consumed. Uyu ni Moses mwenye amezikwa na God mwenye surifa kwa as a consuming fire. Yeah, in other words, God alikuwa na option angetaka. Moses amenyuri ya tunasumbua na nini? Mbona nijipe stress, man? Nyorosha moshi very fast. Unguza kitu haraka fast iende kikienda. Na God akikonsume na moto ameconsume hakuna tunaweza patikana. But who is them same God mtiangu? Amechukua Moses and he himself aka Bari Moses. What does that mean? Ephesians 5 1 in Asema. Be imitators of God, therefore. Now that you are the your dearly loved children, be imitators of God. So, so lengu ni. Kama God mwenyewe alizika Moses. Wewe uki choose ku cremate yo mwili una imitate nani? Una imitate God mgan? Because God mwenye wewe una serve. Tayari asha kuonyesha example. Kazika Moses. Mtoi wake Yesu Kristo mti yangu. Pia alinyuria akazikwa. So wewe practice wewe una follow una iboro kutoka wapi? Hiyo ndio swali ya fast. Another thing lazima tu consider ni Places zenye nye God ametumia moto kuban mwili mekwani as a punishment, as a dishonorable thing. 
Toma hiyo mwili hata dosi tufunge hiyo story kabisa. A dishonorable thing. Kuna hiyo story ya Ekan. Ekan mti yangu Joshua 7. Ai mazejo wametumwa ende guoko AI. Eh ama ai uchavu tunataka kujibamba. Instruction ni destroy ni kila kitu. Usibebe yene kutoka huko. Ai Ekan ni nani? Akabeba ma ma staff akakaa makaficha. Gori ka discoveriwa ikabaki eta na familia yake yote kila mtu maze wakapelekwa nje wakakuwa stoned alafu wakachomwa ili kwa ni dishonor to your mind a dishonorable thing ukiongea about any golden ile ile instruction god utupatia akisema anyone mwenye na misleader young one mti yangu itakuwa fadhali wekewe millstone kwa shingo maze utupwe kwa maji unyurie kunyuria mwili wako sio yapatikana as in it is dishonorable for you to die in a way yenye kuna mwili yote inaweza kuwa inakuja kukuwa intact kuzikwa mti yangu iko hii story menya so lazima tukoe na understanding yenye from our perspective as believers cremation is a sea option siki tu ku discuss whether unataka kuongea about cost or not what's the matter with cost could a lot of things you have to do right and they have nothing to do with money sawa so, Number three, enye ndakatu understand ni buda consequence to the dead ni zero eh. In other words eh, where you ki daddy the consequence ama the reality kwa nayo ni judgment. It is appointment appointed for one to die once then judgment. So haijalishi nini tutafanya kwa hii mazishi. Haijalishi nini tutasema it has no consequence whatsoever to the dead. Una mseme nyuri amenyuri. Kama uko dead in Christ mti yangu ah Reality ni mti yangu hiyo cremation nataka ku happen real life hiyo side nyingine si huku mti yangu mzee lazima tuko na hiyo reality yenye whatever you do na sana sana know that kuna msalisha tuingilia watu wetu wa west <laughs> waje ni jiongelesha kuna marituals mingi si you do it cetera cetera mti yangu have nothing to do with the dead they cannot affect the dead the dead cannot come back to us but they have everything to do with us then utakuja kwa point yangu next If there is any consequence in our rise from story out and happen around death whatever consequence wewe unaweza perceive whether it is real or imagined your consequence is upon the living I call upon the dead Oh jamaa menya menya that's why musema eh ati rela wangu whatever way ati ameamua akasema anataka kujicremate ameandika will Buddha the dead don't control the living wewe kuja kuja ujichome Toka tu mali huko kuja ujichome mimi sikichomi. Yangu ni simple, tutakuchukua tutakuzika. Wishes zako zitatufumbua na kusisi kufanya the right thing. Sometimes we do things that we know are not right ama we feel conviction maze story si fai kuifanya ama siko sure now sana. Lakini because of the fear of the dead. Unajingiza kwa ngori zingine ujui Because kitu na kudanganya saki mazejo na nia feel mazejo nilidharau mwili yake. Oya. Yo mchap. Ka alinyuria hii. Ka kimsee tu amenyuria hii ka kimsee tu. Hakuna story yote nyingine. Lakini mimi sitakuwa held captive kwa sababu ya wishes zako zenye ziko in contradiction of what na believe the right thing to do and what God and expect mimi ni do. Kama inakulazimisha sana toka mali huko kuja uchukue mwili yako jichome alafu uru kama uwezi wachana na si but anyway kila mtu ako na opportunity yake ya kupea na wishes anataka ku respect watu wenye anataka wewe ukijisikia hiyo ndio stare inakupea ni sawa but the reality is pretty simple consequences if at all there will be any will not be with the dead consequences are with the living na wale watu sema oh mazejo ngoja spirit ya the dead inaweza kuja iku haunt oh yeah hakuna tutaka hiyo Ukinya umenya when something comes back to you in the form of William Soul kwa najua it is what we call a familiar spirit ni pepo shetani ka demon flani kana kam zingine waga zime zime kam zime mastambaka sauti mimi cream yangu eh ikiongea hivi unasikia enyewe huyo ni mother walai huyo ni wife yangu huyo ni hazi huyo ni mtoi wangu 100% that is a familiar spirit ni pepo ule jamaa kinya amenya There is no fellowship between the living and the dead. Ro safi. So sanganyo na mtu. In conclusion, narudi back to the executive summary. If God himself 
buried Moses. Na Ephesians 5:1 inatuambia be imitators of God. So wewe mwenye unataka kubari au unataka kuchoma hii mwili wewe una imitate nani? What is the source of your information? Of course ukifanya research yako kuhusu mambo za cremation the earliest info inapatikana ni from the Hindu culture 1900 BC na wa Hindu wana believe from the what kidogo nimesoma wana believe uh, a human nature iko na five elements zenye lazima zigo back to its source fire earth water air and fine matter the first four lazima zichomwe kulingana na belief yao zirudi back to its source fine matter inachiliwa kwenda juu hii mali chachomwa fine matter ina shoot kwenye mahali where kuna the gods wana exist that's their belief ukikuja 1000 BC Romans walikuwa na mambo yao pia wameona kachukua vitu mbili tatu and some of them wali borrow from a northern uh, people wenye wanawikaniaje walikuwa wanaenda war mtu wa kidedi war badala maze kungana na mwili kurudisha wanaichoma wanaleta ashes kwa family chukueni mazee ashes za msaeno ni nyuri na kuna some of the famous people lenye nime read hata mimi nilikuwa surprise nikisoma shangala kume Julius Caesar alijicrimate eh Augustus Nero emperors wa power and three na watu wengi and of course through the things walifanyika kwa ni kama class ikakuwa ni influence fulani ya social status back in the day kuna time wa Kristo mazejo waliamopia wanaza choma watu in fact kuna lot of people wenye back in the day when kulikuwa na issues za na ya particular groups of people wenye walifikil au ndio wako na bitter, better revelation ya ukristo ni nini and anyone walikuwa na passive kukuwa heretic ama a witch utoma walikuwa na kuchoma thinking yao at that time ilikuwa ni simple walikuwa na jambia juwewe already uko condemned to hell wacha tukusaidie kukupatia introduction ya moto tunachoma hii mwili tuko tukukumbusha nye pia maneno yao na kuchomwa zaidi naenda kuchomwa zaidi and they did crazy things bado kiona hizi story tunaga kisi ati uh, wakipata witch mazee ni moto sifikiri imeanza huko ilianza kitambo back in the day but bottom line all these sources pagan so don't just think of the end result consider the source juulize at all times hii kitu naambiwa sasa hii what is its source whatever thing it is what is the source because a bitter well cannot produce sweet water and everything produces after its own kind so lazima tukue rada kama believers i thought it was important to share uh, just on that point feel free to share your own perspective najua kuna wa kristo wengi wanasema mwili ni mwili shaende imeenda shida yao man ya muhimu ni my faith in jesus christ ningependa kusikia comment yako on hizo maneno au sio at freddy budabos kama k barikio kaka